Hello everyone, just trying to get started here technically. There we go. Hello, just getting with you here. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's nice. All right. Good morning, everybody. Back to work. Back to scales. Back to fundamentals. <clears throat> I hate talking in the morning, but here we are. So as per usual, I've already done my super boring stuff with the long tones. So we'll pretty much just get started on scales immediately this time. Uh, sometime I'll show you some long tone exercises, but not today. Vibrates. Uh, I'm not really concerned about it being a concert level read because I'm in a practice room. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, what I usually do technically, which is start uh, working on the modes of C major. That is to say, I go, I start on the lowest note, which is this low E here. And I work my way up to the highest note, which is this high F right there. I do it two octaves at a time in the key of C major. No sharps, no flats. So if I start on E and play two octaves up to E and back with no sharps or flats, it sounds like this. Phrygian mode. Whatever we're doing, we're working on modes here, okay? Um, Lydian, Mixolydian, okay. Yeah, Phrygian, I think. So we're going to go two octaves uh, in each mode, up and down in C major at a time. We're going to set the metronome at 80, which is a nice moderate tempo. Eighth note subdivision on. Super easy. Super even.
as I get close to the tonic or I get next to the tonic here, I want to reiterate what I'm looking for here. Easy, relaxed hands, uh, vibrant air column through the instrument. If I'm not, if there's no good air through the instrument, then there, my fingers are not going to work. I cannot do things technically with just my hands. I can't. Um, everything depends upon the air. My fingers ride on the air. My tongue rides on the air. So let's continue. <clears throat> One, two. <laughs> technique I'm worried about what is the sound is the sound the same all the way up and down what is my tone quality is it beautiful then I listen for the evenness now <clears throat> I like to stretch my hands just a little bit before I go on to the real stuff and it's not a big deal I just kind of give myself a little I'm not that flexible of a person at all so it helps me to just kind of bring a little bit more springiness into my hands. Okay. Then I just kind of grab my hands like this, just pull just a little bit, kind of rotate my wrists, pull those fingers out a little bit, shake it off. Feeling good. All right. So I'm going to set my metronome to 100 with the subdivision on. I'm going to play this scale from, from the C, shit, C to F to E back, okay? That's a full range scale of C major, is starting on C, going up to F, going down to E and back to C. So it's like this, with one iteration. <laughs> For me is a C major scale. I'm going to put four of those together in one breath now. One. now, just a little bit more flow in this, a more musical idea. There's no raising of my physical affect or my body when I go up for high notes. And I don't go. If you're listening, you can even hear tension come in there. I'll do the same thing. Right. 
I'm going to stay very relaxed, keep my body very low, especially down here where I'm producing the air. Shouldn't be a big deal at all. It isn't. If you don't make it a big deal, it won't be. 120, no subdivision. Same thing, just the scale. One. See if I could put five iterations of that in this breath. I'm going to conserve my air. Try to put five together. 120. Five together, then you're really blowing. Let's try to 140. This is my goal today, 140. Working on it this way, it should feel the same. It's a little quicker. I'm not terribly concerned. Let's try it. 140, C major. concerned with the speed as I am with the sound all the way up and down and how even it is. The speed will work itself out. fast, it still feels the same to me because I've A, worked it up this way today for myself, and B, I'm not thinking about how fast it is. I'm thinking about what does this sound like? Am I even? And the third thing is, am I, am I taking up all of the beat? The last thing you want to do is to rush like this. I'm in front of the metronome that entire time. I want to lay back and take every millisecond of every beat and almost drag the metronome. Be on the back side of every beat. Mm -hmm. One. <laughs> It's not so easy, but it can be done, and it feels good. So let's go down to the next line. Yeah. Okay. We're going to do this. This is this is uh, our Peggio exercise in C major. I'm going to leave off this first held quarter note because I don't give a shit about it. 
Okay. Two iterations per breath, two breaths per tempo marking. So four, four iterations. makes a good living. All right. So I'm always using the right pinky. Okay. No matter what, I don't, I don't like to add this. I like to use the right, no matter what, unless I have to. Same thing. Also tell you if you're blowing through the horn well because if you're not these big intervals will all sound janky instead of all right 120 subdivision off same thing no wait 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 110 so i'm going to actually do these articulations the slur two tongue two uh then i'm going to do tongue one slur two tongue one and then i'm going to do tongue two slur two all the way through here <clears throat> Just a little slur two tongue two articulation practice in the beginning of my day. One. <laughs> articulation and your fingers should sort of ride on the air. I'm not doing anything with just my fingers. I'm not doing anything with just my tongue. My fingers and my tongue are riding on this column of air that I'm constantly throwing through the instrument. I feel like the inside of the horn is, is just almost, if it weren't for me, it would vibrate out of control in a way. All right, 120, no articulation. Here's our goal for today. Easy, even. This is called an interrupted scale. As you can see, every scale degree goes up, 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 up the scale, and then back down the scale again. Really looking for an even, even idea. We don't go in this. We don't, we're not thinking. Hey. Hey, thanks. <laughs> okay. So, but instead of that, I'm going to look to go towards the next beat. I'm going to be thinking. Not. Then when you put it together in evenness, but you're thinking it about that about it that way. One.
repeat I liked a lot better um, because I didn't rush up top. Rushing at the very top is hard here. You really, really, really have to keep control of yourself. You're going to want to rush. Don't rush. Rushing is not musical. Rushing is a killer. Same thing. I'm going to drag the metronome slightly over the top. 120. Here's our goal. One. even though <clears throat> sorry I'm a little stuffed today you'll notice that when I go over the top like I'm not really trying for it I don't go or whatever I'm really just trying to stay totally still totally still I'm trying to keep my body the same in high notes and low notes let's see if I can do it One. So, my clarinet needed no help from my body, except for the, what was happening inside my mouth and with my ear. It needed no assistance for me to muscle it at all. <laughs> you know what, I will later, but I, I got to get through this routine. It is, it's, it's what I'm doing right now. <laughs> I need like a big orchestra. I need like drums. I need like trumpets and shit. I'll do my best. So, but right now, uh, I'm going to do this. These are called thirds. See this repeats? I'm going to take them. So two, twice, twice. Breath in the middle. 100. Subdivision on. Same idea. So I, I'm thinking again, not going. But. And such and such. One. Same thing here. <laughs> I come from a land down. No, no, look, I'm old enough that that song was on the radio when I was in like junior high school. I mean, so I'm afraid I'm dating myself pretty hard there, but goddamn, I love that song. All right, here we go. Chunder. One. <laughs>
So now we'll move on to this shit. Let me make this a little bit. I think you can see that. I think you can see that. Give my horn a little quick swab out. Always from the bottom, please. You've got this beautiful funnel. You should use it. Never swab out from the top area. You see how like, you see how that's nice and got a nice like sharp surface here. You want to keep that as much as possible. Thank you. Thanks very much. Um, uh, if you're talking about my 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 room setup, it's excellent. If you're talking about my horn setup, this is this horn was made for me um, by Guy Hadash uh, here in New York. Uh, it's a really really awesome horn. I really love it. Um, blah blah blah. Okay, so you want to swab out from the bottom because you got this nice funnel. It doesn't matter if you like make it a little dull. It does matter if you make these sharp edges a little dull. You want to avoid that as much as possible, right? This, especially for me, this this bit of this, my barrel, the bottom of my barrel is wood. The top of my barrel is hard rod rubber. So I definitely don't want to fuck around with that too much. By the way, I'll show this to you. This is my, this is an adjustable barrel. This is from also made by Guy Hadash, same same uh, thing here. Um, and what I could do with this is it's pretty amazing. The interior of the barrel, I don't know if you can see it. The interior of the barrel has a has a sleeve all the way up and down, so I can, for example, take this and make it much shorter. Okay, or I could take it and make it much much. longer okay and so what that allows me to do is in the moment i mean i'm pretty close with my intonation i'm a pretty good player who plays in tune a lot but if i'm a little off i can adjust this really 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 carefully oh no thanks <clears throat> this is actually my ipad i know i wish it was cool i could i'm not cool enough to figure out how to do that on my playstation maybe i could figure it out on a different platform but this is the easiest way for me to live stream, so this is what I do. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my reed off my horn here. Um, here's my reed, super thin. So I, I play on uh, Van Doren V12 number fours. Uh, this is my pine bel canto mouthpiece. Super nice mouthpiece, crushes. Okay, so the scales I was playing, as always, from memory and without music, but this stuff I do not have memorized, so I'm going to set up my, my stand here for you. Da -da -da. So how this works, if you don't know, here's my clarinet. In case you're not an instrumentalist, see that I've got like a like a kind of rectangular-ish window here, um, in in the that's cut into the mouthpiece. And what happens is this reed is shaped like the like the that curved tip. It's very 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 thin, like paper thin at the end. So I can like it gets it vibrates. The very tip of this reed vibrates if I set it up like on like that. But in order to make that work without having to have my fingers on it, I got to put this bad boy on, which is called a ligature. And all that really does is strap on the clarinet, strap on the reed. Now, mine is kind of cool, I think, because it's both, I have leather, but on the interior of it, um, it's, it's metallic. Or, sorry, on the back side here. Um, it's a bit metallic. So that's what contacts my reed. Those two, those two rails sit on my reed here. And then I bind it together. And so I can, it vibrates with the metal and it also has a little bit of, of mellowness because the leather takes a bit of the bright vibrations out of it. And that's how you play the clarinet. Super easy. Okay. <clears throat> 
So these are my daily bread. This is what I do every day. I think this is what makes me a good clarinet player. I learned this from Harold Wright, who used to be the first clarinet player of the Boston Symphony for many, many years. Thanks very much. I appreciate it. Thank you. I really, it does mean, it is meaningful to me. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the metronome here at 50 beats per minute. Okay. Put the eighth note subdivision on. And then I'm just going to play in tempo from the top of the, from the top of page one to the end of this page. So as you can see, it starts being fairly simple and it gets more and more kind of crazy and complicated as we go through, but I'm going to play it all at the same tempo at 50. Tomorrow I start to move, move tempos faster. Today, all I'm looking for in these initial 16th note exercises is something called legato, which is how you connect notes. If you see how there's no gap between any of those notes is what I'm trying to achieve here. No gap anywhere to, and beautiful everywhere. as simple as it gets. That's as simple a little etude as you could possibly put. But I promise you, my brain was active the entire time. Am I even? Are those notes together? Am I making a beautiful shape? Is the sound the same between all of these registers of my clarinet? So the more you engage your mind, even on the simplest exercise, the better you can be. This is the same for great dancers, great athletes, uh, a great artist of any of any sort of performing sort, ice skaters, the better that you can get and the more specific that you can get on the fundamental areas of what you're working on, the more that's going to spread across your entire work. Uh, I could promise you LeBron James does not come into the gym and work on windmill dunks. I mean, he might do it for fun, but that's not what he's working on in the gym. He's working on this kind of stuff. Fundamentals. Number two, I'm going to look for some real connection in these, in these, not, but still very, 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 very legato. Number two, two, three. Kevin, I, you know how it goes. Like, you know, the more you get in your own way, the less successful you're going to be, right? So, um, when you when you get in the shit, right? When you get in the moment and you're on stage and you actually have to, like, there's nowhere else to go. Yay. <laughs> yes, it does, friend. Um is is to know what it feels like you need to you need to, when, when when the question comes you need to have the answer um and the only way to have the answer of course is to just be 
so comfortable with where you're at on the instrument. Number three, this one is a little difficult to do without any articulation, but totally possible as long as you're thinking about the high notes. <laughs> Okay, let's try it. Yeah, and literally all I'm thinking about during that is are these notes. trying to make beautiful high notes. Everything else works out. Technical problems have musical solutions, yeah? So there are two ways that I like to do number five. The first is a sort of more traditional way, which is a little bit more staccato. And then the second two breaths, the second two iterations, I'm going to do completely legato, which makes it much harder to go. Without the breaks, but it's good for you, like spinach or something. Let's start with low C. I don't have one. I have to get, I'd have to get on my bass clarinet for a true low C. Now, um, all I'm, when, when I'm doing this, man, when I get back down to the lower ones, I just make sure that I fucking vacate my thumb, like really carefully, off of that interval. If I if I'm kind of like logy with it, then I'm going to get a going to get a little squirrely. But if I'm really like, I withdraw my thumb completely every time going across the break, and that lets me do it. Let's see if I can do it closer so you can see. Just very, very directed about taking my thumb off of that register key every time. All right, moving into sex tuplets now, number six.
that's <clears throat> somewhat difficult at the end. You really want to listen for these. And I would advise half holding the whole time. This high G, one and three and one and two. So that just pops out. It's beautifully in tune. No problem. Next, number seven. spot that could be difficult, but I'm really listening for. I don't even care about that, that bottom note that repeats itself. I'm really only listening to the scale. kind of works itself out. Moving along, number eight. Now we're starting to get into the technical spots. This is fine. Nice and easy. to number 12 because the 13 starts a minor so we're going to do these four exercises ay, 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 number nine now eventually by friday we're going to be here at 60 but today we're at 50 one line gets harder the, the faster that you go but I still recommend 
always with a half hole. B O T. Okay, this is this adds a whole level of like weirdness. If I just kind of go off and on it like this, instead of flipping it on and off, I find it a lot easier. Number ten, same speed as always. And And again, I'm not like I'm, I'm pretty convinced I'm going to mostly play the right notes. I just am now looking for, am I playing all the right notes exactly where I want to play them? Is it as beautiful and even? Is it as easy as it could be? All of that is really hard. The notes themselves are whatever. Playing them right. Mm. here a little bit. My worst rep that time was my third rep. And the reason that it was the worst was because I was thinking about where I was putting my pinky instead of the musical aspect of what I'm trying to do, and which is the evenness and the ease and the beauty. When I, when I switched my mindset from thinking about that to thinking about my finger, a purely technical issue, then it, then it didn't work as well. Okay. When I allowed that to fold into my overall idea of beauty and ease and evenness, lo and behold, it worked itself out. Okay. So technical problems have musical solutions. I'm going to change the tempo, but I'm going to keep the subdivision the same. So I'm going down because we're in three instead of two here. So the eighth note is the same. I'm at 34 for number 11. One. Three, two. <laughs> <laughs> This D right here. Oh yeah, that's pretty sweet. No, this is a clarinet, but you're close. It's the same type of wood. This is actually made out of um, oboe wood, believe it or not. So uh, it's a little different from a regular clarinet. So you're you're, you're halfway in the middle. And bassoons are really really complicated. So the only fake fingering I, I allow myself in the, these entire pages is that D right there. So, I'm just giving an open, open fingering for that D. Yeah. 
All right. So that's my initial like workout for the day. It took me, what, 53 minutes. Tomorrow will be a little longer because I'm going to up the tempo, but I could have gotten through this again in 40 minutes or so uh, if I was actually working without talking. So it really doesn't take an enormous amount of time to sort of put yourself through the paces at the beginning of your day. And if you would spend this 45 minutes with yourself, holy shit, you get a lot better, a lot quicker. Thank you for tuning in. I really, really appreciate it. I will see you later today.